ecosystems receive an abundance of solar energy, but chemical resources are in limited supply. Essential elements and compounds must therefore be constantly recycled for life to persist on Earth. This process is known as nutrient cycling. Carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus are important elements that form the building blocks of many essential organic molecules, such as amino acids, proteins, nucleic acids, phospholipids, and energy storing molecules like glucose. Carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus exist in many forms in the atmosphere, soil, and water around us. Some forms can be assimilated by plants and other primary producers that use these elements to build complex organic molecules. These molecules are subsequently ingested by consumers and passed along the food chain. The chemicals within the bodies of both producers and consumers are constantly replaced as the organism grows and releases metabolic waste products. The molecules assimilated for growth, however, are unavailable to the rest of the ecosystem until the death of the organism. When the organism dies, the molecules within its body are broken down into simpler compounds by decomposers and returned to the atmosphere, soil, or water. Decomposers, therefore, have an important role in replenishing the pools of chemicals that will be reused by primary producers. Detritivores are types of decomposers that consume and internally digest dead organic material and waste. Together with other arthropods, insect detritivores are important contributors to decomposition. They accelerate decomposition by physically shredding and chemically digesting plant material, organic waste, and animal carrion. Since temperature and moisture levels influence insect growth and activity, the rates at which insect detritivores can decompose material differs by region. In warm and humid climates, insect detritivores tend to decompose material more quickly as they are more active and develop faster. We will go into the effect of temperature on the rate of insect development in more detail in a later video. Insects and other arthropods play important roles as detritivores in ecosystems by breaking down organic material. Key arthropod players in decomposition include millipedes, mites, and springtails, or columbola. Within the insect specifically, major groups that contain decomposers include silverfish, cockroaches, termites, ants, both juvenile and adult beetles, as well as larval flies. Even some moth larvae in the family Teneidae contribute to the final stages of decomposition. Detritivores mechanically break down large particles of detritus into finer particles, which are eventually released back into the ecosystem as feces. Insects that act as decomposers often live in the soil for at least part of their life cycle and display many adaptations for a soil-dwelling existence. For instance, Pupal forms of soil insects often have spines that help them grip the soil so that they can move to the surface before adult eclosion. Many soil-dwelling organisms also have reduced eyes and wings that are either protected by hardened forewings, reduced, or lost completely. Depending on their diet, these detritivores can have additional strange adaptations which we'll explore in the next video when we introduce the three major types of detritivores.